Okay guys, we had a company reach out called Hand Putts, and they asked us to do a review. Before agreeing to it, I thought I'd ask Ed, what does he think about the idea of a portable digital torque extension? I didn't expect him to be interested, actually, to be quite honest, but he was interested. So now I'm taking this in to show it to him, and we'll see what he thinks about it, and I'll tell you what I think as well. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to uh, take this to Ed Smith's shop at Five Star Engines. This is the Anpuds kit. It comes with, of course, the torque adapter. Torque. It's not really a torque wrench, I guess. It's an adapter that allows you to measure torque. And it's a, it's a half inch end on it, 3 8 adapter that comes with it, and a quarter inch adapter that comes with it. So it seems kind of handy. It comes in a really a nice uh, case. Looks good and strong. So we'll see what Ed thinks about this, and then we'll go from there. This is not an easy design. They provide you with this little Allen wrench, and you've got to not very easily take three screws out with your Allen wrench. Don't lose this Allen wrench because it might not be easy to find another one. We'll just stick something on there and give it a tug. I hear it. Did it beep at 50? There's that, there you go. So it does show up yellow when you're close and then red when you hit 50. Okay, so we've got it set at 40. Let's see what uh, let's see what it comes up to. Okay. All right. So, uh, hit, you just hit past 40. You're at 55. So again, the beep would make a big difference. I can see it with the light. It does light up. Is there a brand for this? It's the brand is called Anpuds, which is kind of an interesting name, a little bit unusual. Anpuds. Anpuds. Yeah. It's a, a torque wrench. It's really handy. Uh, you don't have to carry a big long torque wrench with you all the time. It just goes in your pocket. And so you can change this to a different adapters from a half inch to three eighths. Uh -huh. So you just torque it and you put it on your any extension, any length of extension, and you dial it into whatever you want to. We have this set on 40 right now. Right. So, but you can go to the torque of sonar head if you were going to. Put that sonar head on this one. We just put a socket on here. Yep. And and torque it by hand. Come over here and torque a head bolt easily with this. Uh -huh. Maybe if we don't have a engine here, we're torquing right now. But it'd right. be easy just to torque it and see what it's doing. Yep. It lights lights up yep. exactly where you're at. Yep. On the torque, and we got this one set at 40 pounds right now. Yeah. And so just to demonstrate it, and we're going to put it in the vise here. Uh, yeah. And just to demonstrate what it is and just to see what it is. It's a pretty handy thing. Uh, and we have this set at 40. So I'll just be careful when it goes up to 40. So the yellow light comes on. It means you're close. And red tells you right at exactly 40. Yeah. And you can set all kinds of things on it here, whatever torque you want. Yeah. I guess, I don't know what the maximum is on this. I think it's maybe, I'd have to double check. I think it's like 120. Well, 120 is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Because normally our cylinder heads on most of our engines are 70. 70? 70, yeah. Some of the, the uh, 460 Fords and some of the bigger half-inch bolts are maybe up to 90 or 100 or something okay. like that. But main bearings are about 75, okay. 80 on normal engines. So uh -huh. then if you just... Uh, so, th so this range would cover most of that, It would it? cover everything, yeah. Yeah, okay. And especially uh, if you just... Got done with it, you just put it in your pocket or something. Right. And uh, you have it with you. And you have it with you. So sometimes if you're out where you're at, it, it plug plugs or you can turn it off and turn it on. Yep. Yeah, and you just pretty get handy. used to the buttons pretty, a little bit. It's it, pretty uh, it takes, compact. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, it takes and, uh, two uh, AAA batteries inside. You just have to undo uh, those three screws to get oh, them yeah. out. Oh, a couple of batteries. And yeah, yep. of course. Yep. It's pretty uh, pretty awesome pretty piece of equipment. Well, I'm glad you handy. like it. Yeah, it's pretty handy if you're out, maybe away from the shop or something. Yeah. You know, if you're on the road someplace or even out in the field someplace where you're not in the shop or something, 
Well, I'll carry a torque wrench with you. Mm -hmm. You got a breaker bar and this thing, that's all you need. Yeah. One thing that occurs to me is that people want to, even at home, you're putting your wheels on your car, you're supposed to torque you're your lug nuts. Torque them. Yeah, yeah. And, that'd and be that's easy. pretty easy to do. That'd be easy to do that, yeah. Okay. That would just go on a torque wrench and put your wheel socket on there and torque them. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. So that's, yeah, I like that. It's a good that's idea. Good, good idea? Yeah. All right. I don't know what it sells for, but I think it's a... Uh, they, they range, but they're, I think, um, I think they're in the $50 range, somewhere oh, $50, $60. So torque wrenches are a lot more than that. Are they? Yeah. yeah. Of course, we have some torque wrenches here that are just manual yeah, right. torque wrenches. And, uh, and I know there's some special ones that are real, real fashioned with the hand on them. Yeah. You can have, I have some of those on them, but they're kind of not very accurate. Okay. And uh, so that's good. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, we'll uh, see what we can do with this for yeah. hand pugs. You can, you can see the name right down at the bottom there, and puds above the buttons. Yeah. So, any, anyway, they reached out. They wanted us to tell us what they think. Yeah, just see what I think. Yeah, it's a good, so good, there you good go. product. All right, well, there you go, guys. Okay, we've let Ed play with this thing, and now I want to just tell you my uh, only concerns about this product is the display is a little bit hard to read. I wish it was a little brighter, a little bit easier to read. I wish the batteries were a little easier to change out. And I wish I could get the beeper to work. It worked when I first took it out of the package and then after playing with it and even changing batteries and I got instructions from the company on how to get the beep to come off and on. I followed those instructions. I couldn't get the, the uh, beeping sound to happen, which would be very helpful. Although in a loud shop like Ed has, uh, you wouldn't hear the beep <laughs> you just wouldn't hear it so the light indicators are probably good enough in that case but um there you go so uh i'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 but it is useful um we did check it against a torque wrench scale checker and it does seem pretty accurate so we don't have a problem with that the range of what it can test certainly falls within what Ed would use on a normal day, so he's pretty good. You know, I would say a seven or eight out of 10 is kind of where I'm landing. I think Ed's about there too, so interesting. Uh, we may end up offering this as uh, something available in case you want to support us in some way on this channel, and we may not. We'll see how this goes, but there's a summary of uh, what we learned today on that. Hey, a torque wrench as an adapter it's not a bad idea.